Hi there, Brian here. So on a modern Hyundai with the 10.25 inch cluster, when you're in an eco mode, they have this eco display over here instead of a revolution counter when you're in the eco mode when you're driving the car. I always assumed, uh, so on these, if you went into the different modes, so you have a sport mode and an eco mode. So if I go into sport, it always gave me a tachometer. I go back into eco, then it just gave me the eco display over here. And I'd assumed really that's how you access a tachometer. But I now realize actually you can have a tachometer on the eco mode as well by going in through the settings. On your blue link screen then, in the bottom right over here, you're going to have something called settings, press that. And then in top of the middle of that menu, you'll have something called vehicle. And then in the next menu, you'll see on the left, there's something called cluster. And slightly to the right then, there is something called tachometer display. In this menu then, there's two checkboxes. And if you check them, that means you want the tachometer to be displayed in that menu. So you can check it for eco or sport, and that means you'll always see a tachometer. I'm a bit old school, and while there is something called EV that pops up on your screen, I find it easier to judge when the engine's not running by seeing the tachometer at zero. It's just for me, it's a better visual indication of what the engine's doing, or in this case, not doing when we're driving. For me, it just gives me a better idea of what the engine is doing when I'm driving a petrol hybrid or plug-in hybrid. Anyway, hopefully the video is useful. Thanks a million for watching.